In tonight's face off for the win, Molly pulls out the angry face and holy basil trees, did Nate just have a stroke? Find out in tonight's episode of Balderdash Academy, judged by special guest Leonard Kimball, president of the River Comics. And it's also time for our next pop quiz, our final pop quiz of the night. This pop quiz is from the head of home economics and wellness, Ms. Marie Stewart Harmon. Hello, everybody. Hi, guys. Hello. Um, we all have our things in our homes and in our lives that we struggle with. They're everyday issues, they're everyday problems, but they're things that we all try to encounter. Um, one of the most pesky things that has ever happened to me um, ha was I was, I was officiating a wedding and I spilled an entire glass of red wine assisted on the bride oh no on the bride directly wow. on the back of her dress um i had a glass of wine in my hand and somebody incredible. like would just so wow. if you were at a wedding and the bride suddenly had red wine spilled all the way down her dress panelists what would you do can I, can I throw a quick 300 points to Marie for the efficiency of boxed wine? Mm. Awesome. Definitely. At the ready. Uh -huh. Not a sponsor. Black Box, if you'd like to sponsor us, please do. <laughs> Balderdashacademy.com. Look us up. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So the question, repeat the question again, please, Marie. If you were to get red wine out of a very white material, say a wedding dress on the bride, how would you do so? I know this one. Professor um, McGill. So what you want to do first is um, not really necessary to take the dress off at all, but what you want to do is really get your mouth right down on it and suckle mm. like uh, you're a kitten. Um, drinking milk from your mother, right? It's just a very gentle suckle. And you want to do that uh, across the whole uh, spill. Now, once you do that, then I would recommend taking off the dress. And what you're going to do is you're going to take the dress, you're going to take your, va your, your bag of red wine, box of red wine, it's a bag inside. And what you're going to do is you're going to take that bag and smush it all over the dress. Now what this is gonna do is it's gonna take a white dress to a red dress, but at least it's one consistent color. Yes, Professor Green. Uh, so green. what I would do is I would first assess the scene for safety. Mm -hmm. And once I found that everything was safe, I would then point to somebody and specifically call out, hey, you, in the green shirt, in the red shirt, somebody, so they knew who I knew they were talking to, be like you, Call 911, get the AED. And then what I would do is I would lay the bride on the ground and the groom um, <laughs> and check their airways for warmth um, for about three seconds. Uh, I would probably be in the moment, so I would kind of go crazy, not really feel anything, immediately go into breaths. Mm hmm mm hmm yes. Thank you, that's very good. Um, Coach Steve. I've, I've thought life? long and hard about this, and I honestly have to say I would do absolutely nothing in this scenario because I think uh, as a man trying to remove a bride's dress, that's just <laughs> a harassment lawsuit waiting to happen. So I'm going to take a step back and um, your place honestly again. just leave town, change my name, um, because, you know, I've ruined someone's wedding. That sounds very, very horrible. Uh, now, a lot of people don't understand. I mean, I do. Sorry, I, I'm married. I've been there. I, I understand what happens and how to get rid of it. And really, rather than try to get rid of it, embrace it as a new tradition. Everybody loves traditions. You know, throwing bouquet had to start somewhere. True. You know, a lot of people don't know this, but the whole thing with pulling the garter off was somebody got a little frisky and tried to feel up the bride at a wedding. Now it's a tradition. So what we do is we take the negative, turn it into a positive, And at the next wedding... The first person to spill wine on the bride wins a million dollars. Yeah. There you go. Traditions. Oh, wow. It's all that, about new traditions. That's great. 
these are all very, very good, very, very good answers and all seem to have something to do with the successful solution of the red wine removal. But before I go into the actual explanation, which has to do with all of your explanations, Leonard, would you like, do you have anything that you'd like to provide to us here? Uh, sure. I'm going to give Bob 400 points for uh, developing a new tradition. I think that's a good idea. Um, but I think the, the best answer was from Nate, uh, 600 points for him for the take charge attitude of controlling the situation and <laughs> making sure that we've called the uh, emergency <laughs> response, uh, you know, ca calling 911 to make sure people are actually safe and make sure that someone's in charge of everything. That, that, I think that's the best answer. Drop, drop and roll. Yeah. These, these all have enlightened me and as any good teacher, I'm learning every day from my fellow teachers. And if I was to be in the situation now, my first step would be to lay down the bride and the groom and line up the wedding party to create a suckling section of removing the wine from a suckling <laughs> position. Yes. And once that was completed, I would commence with some science. And that would be <laughs> simple seltzer water and baking soda. Oh, okay. When uh -oh. one is to remove red wine from a wedding dress, you do not have to remove the wine from, you do not have to remove the dress from the bride, Steve. Good to know. Thank you, Marie. Especially if it is on the lower half of the dress. You saturate the red wine stain in seltzer. And then you gently... You, you, you spread baking soda over the, over the red, red wine stain, and then you, you, you spread out the baking soda with more seltzer. To be honest, I think, and saturating, I think saturating a bride's dress is also a harassment lawsuit waiting to happen. <laughs> well, you have to be very delicate with your saturation. <laughs> your saturation. Okay. I'll keep that in mind. But Thank as you. any good teacher, I have learned from my fellow teachers and will implement your strategies in my future home economic strategies moving forward. Marie, thank you for your presentation. That was, that was good. I like that. <laughs> uh, Leonard, would you like to award any additional points for our uh, panelists? Uh, I'm gonna, I'll, I would give another 300 points for Steve trying to avoid lawsuits. That's, mm. that's always good. That's and then <laughs> Molly for her uh, 400 points for her angry face. Am I giving Steve points? <laughs> <laughs> that's good. And, to, uh, and Marie, Marie, you'll get 300 points for having t three names. Thank you. Marie, 300. Well, I'm getting nervous. What are the points at right now? We're still the winning. Points <laughs> right now, really. I am in fifth place. Steve is in next place with 1,460. Marie at 1,970. Nate at 2,000. And Ooh. Molly at 2,400 points. Molly. As we move in to oh. Technically Correct. Now our next game, Technically Correct, I will read a description of a movie that is technically correct. Our faculty members will all come up with an answer as fast as possible and present it one by one. Leonard will award points based on the answers he likes best. Movie number one, are we ready? Mm -hmm. A man tries to return a birthday present from his uncle. That describes what movie? A man tries to return a birthday present from his uncle. Leonard, what's your answer? Roosters Millions. That's a good, another good movie. Oh. <laughs> That's another good movie. Uh, who else has an answer? Steve, what's your answer? The Darjeeling Limited. Darjeeling Limited. Nate? Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. Good movie. Uh, Marie, you look like you've frozen. <laughs> <laughs> That's just my perplexed face. Um, I'm gonna go with Star Wars A New Hope. Star Wars A New Hope. Molly, what's your answer? Um, a Christmas story. The answer is Lord of the Rings, the entire trilogy. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's I about a man close. who tries to return a birthday present from his uncle. All right. Okay. All right. Nice Leonard, work, Bob. like to award points for any of those answers? <laughs> uh, Marie, of course, gets... 300 nerd points. <laughs> <laughs> Not nerd points. All right. 
Our next movie is an elderly man gets high while accidentally kidnapping a child and fleeing to South America. Marie. The Matrix. The Matrix. Who's next? Up. Up for Molly. Nate. Such a good movie. Uh, Back to the Future. Back to the Future. Steve. Uh, Trolls 3, whatever the comes after this, the colon. This time Trolls 3, after the colon. <laughs> that is up, Molly isn't it? Molly has it. The yeah. answer is up. That's good. Up oh, is the story oh. of an elderly man who gets high while accidentally kidnapping a child and fleeing to South America. Get very Leonard, high. how would you like to award points? High in altitude. I get what you did there. Okay. Molly, for not using um, a, a a movie that had drug references, you get 400 points. 400 for clean cut. <laughs> All right, our next movie is the story of an elderly pedophile who hangs around a high school picking up underage girls. Leonard. Days and Confused. Good answer. Steve, what's your answer? Leon the Professional. Leon the oh, Professional. Um, Marie. Um, um, Seth Rogen movie that uh, Pineapple Express! Pineapple Express. <laughs> Nate, do you have an answer? Shawshank Redemption. Okay, Molly, what's your answer? Um, it is, um, um, a movie that, um, Despicable Me. Despicable Me, the answer is, of course, Twilight. Uh, Twilight, the story of an elderly oh, pedophile who runs around a high school picking up underage girls. <laughs> Leonard, how would you like to score? Uh, I'm, I, 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 I'm sorry. I forgot what Steve's answer was, but I remember liking it. What was what, what was your answer against Steve? Uh, Leon the Professional. That's it. Yeah. Okay. So also like another movie about borderline pedophilia. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I don't want to make sure. I don't want to have any sort of sort of like connection with giving Steve points for uh, so Marie since you're right next to Steve Marie gets 300 points 300 points uh, for uh, proximity that's rough I'll that's take rough it. And right. I messed up <laughs> <laughs> our next movie and technically correct it is the story of a woman who is committed to overcome supply chain difficulties to launch her new clothing line who has the first answer Nate. Uh, 27 dresses. 27 dresses. He, he could Next be white, answer. Right, for all I know. I'm going to go with Aaron Brockovich. Aaron Bro 27 dresses and Aaron Brockovich. Steve, did you have an answer? Yeah, Kill Bill. Kill Bill. Molly. Um, The Devil Wears Prada. Dev Prada. Good answer. Nate. Not Nate, you already gave me. Uh, Leonard, do you have an answer? Would you like to play along with this? I'm gonna guess Supergirl. <laughs> the answer is, of course, 101 Dalmatians. Oh. Yes, obviously. <laughs> obviously. <laughs> and uh, Leonard, how would you like to score that? Oh, uh, God, I've, I've, I've spent too much time thinking about my own answer. I forgot everybody else's answers. <laughs> <laughs> We have 27 dresses, Aaron Brockovich. Kill Bill. Oh, Kill, Kill Bill. Bill. Devil yeah. wears Prada. And Devil Wears Prada. I like Kill Bill. Kill Bill. Kill Bill. 600. 600 so strong, for yeah, Kill strong. Bill. Oh, I'm sorry. I need those points. 200 points to Molly for Mean Face again. Yes. Right. <laughs> Molly <laughs> is pounding her face. way to the win. <laughs> <laughs> wow, unbelievable. Intimidation. All right. Our final movie oh. in Technically Correct. A creature teaches a child magic so he can defeat his father. Oh. A creature oh. teaches a child magic so he can defeat his father. Steve. Uh, I was going to say uh, Star Wars A New Hope. Star Wars A New Hope. Molly. I'm going to go with Never Ending Story. That's what I was going to go never with. Never Ending gonna, Story. I'm going to second Molly's Never Ending Story. Two for Never Ending Story, one for A New Hope. Nate. Wait, can I make an, uh, an amendment? Yes. I'm going to say The Empire Strikes Back, actually. is my Empire answer. Strikes Back, New Hope to Empire Strikes Back. Nate, just your answer. for nerd points. <laughs> Hates Dragon. What? Hates Dragon. Pete's Dragon? <laughs> What did you Leonard, say? Leonard, would you time? like to? I don't know what language that first one is. Leonard, would you like to give it a try? 
Uh, so Steve gets 200 nerd points. So that was And good. Leonard, you nailed it. It is Empire Strikes Back. <laughs> Steve, good job. <laughs> All right. That leads us to the conclusion of our assembly and today's moral. The moral of what we learned tonight, looking back on all of our games and challenges on the interview and on each other, is simply this. If at first you don't succeed, try an angry face. All right, so our final scores for tonight. We have, in last place, myself with 1,601 points. Next, we have Nate Green with 2,000 <laughs> points, followed by Steve Corning with 2,260 points. Next, is it Marie or is it Molly? <laughs> Marie has 2,570 points. Our winner, our new reigning champion, defeating Nate Green is the Molly running woman. with an even 3,000 points. Oh, oh. wow. Unbelievable. Rigged, though. It was rigged. But it was not. So Thank good. you. So good. I, I get the credit for the judge, I guess. But I that... gotta work with my angry face. <laughs> I know. <laughs> That's it for tonight. This has oh. been Balderdash Academy. Thank you for joining our assembly. Again, our faculty is Professor Molly McGill with English, English Language Arts, Nate Green from Guidance, Professor Marie Stewart Harmon from Home Ec and Wellness. We have Coach Steve Corning, coach of the Balder Dash Dashers, and our visiting professor, Leonard Kimball. I am Bob LeBlanc. You can find us online at balderdashacademy.com. You can find the River, Com uh, River Comics at therivercomics.com. Leonard, thank you for being a part of our assembly tonight. It's thank been a you. pleasure. Once again, I'm Headmaster of Balderdash Academy. We'll see you later. Thank you for watching. Remember to like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon. You can find us on your favorite podcast service as Balderdash Academy.